my name is Kaylee. I'm doing my presentation over Blastocystis hominis. It's a parasite that resides in the digestive tract of animals, particularly inside the intestines. Uh, the reason I decided to actually do a presentation over this pathogen is because I actually had it when I was younger. I contracted it when I was about 10 years old and I had symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, a lack of appetite, fatigue, um, abdominal cramps. I had that going on like every day. And for a long time, the doctors didn't know what was going on. And they finally, they tested me for this parasite and it turned out I had it. The interesting thing about it is that there's still a huge controversy about it. People kind of disagree whether it's actually a pathogen or not. And because there are some, a lot of people who are actually asymptomatic. And when people are positive for it, they'll treat it and the symptoms can go away. But some people think that it may be because of another pathogen residing with within the person. Um, so actually some more severe symptoms uh, that I don't, I don't really think that I experienced, but they can include like um, nervous disorders such as anxiety, depression, brain fog, and another severe symptom like muscle pain. So, uh, but very, but symptoms can kind of vary from person to person. So, um, How, to, how you actually contract the parasite is, is kind of disturbing. You actually get it from uh, infected feces from other animals. You can get it from humans even, feces from humans or feces from animals. That's why it's so important to actually like wash your hands and even be careful about where you swim. The food you eat has to be you know, properly sanitized. So if it has actually come in contact with that, you can contract the parasite. Now, the way that it actually gets into your body is you have to ingest it. So it can't be transmitted through like blood or through the air. You actually have to, to swallow the parasite. So um, if you actually happen to contract the parasite, there's not a lot of treatment options that are guaranteed. People just kind of try certain like antibiotics or anti-amoeboid uh, medications or um, combination medications to try to get rid of it. And even then, people aren't really sure that it actually works all that well, or that it's guaranteed to get rid of it. So it's it's still, I mean, there's still a lot of controversy behind this this parasite. Um, the life cycle, which I've, I've drawn over here, is a little complicated, as you can see. It has a lot of different forms. You have um, a thick-walled cyst form, which is actually responsible um, for transmission. This is what will reside in the feces of infected animals or humans and um, infect other people. Um, the thin-walled cyst is actually thought to be responsible for um, auto-infection, which basically means that um, the parasite itself, it doesn't have to exit the host to continue its life cycle. It'll actually keep, you know, it'll start over and, you know, go through mitosis in its vacuolar form to its uh, multivacular form, precis form, to actually continue its life cycle. And, um, and some will actually go into the amoeboid form and go through mitosis, precis form, and then to the thick-walled cis form, like I said, and exit the host. Um, so, kind of recapping, the best way to actually prevent um, infection is to be very you know, careful about you know, washing your hands, um, you know, stay, of course, stay away from like feces and um, like even if you change diapers and stuff like that, you or work in a childcare environment, you need to be really careful about being sanitary because it, it can be pretty easy to contract. And that was a scary thing for me thinking about, you know, how did I get this parasite? But, um, you know, I don't, I don't have any symptoms today. So the antibiotics that I took when I, were, I was younger actually got rid of it. But, um, you know, there is controversy over it, but I, I believe that I'm living proof to show that, you know, this is something that people need to take into more consideration because there's not a lot of studies over it and people, you know, are iffy about it. But I think it, I think it's a thing that needs to be examined closely and uh, more treatments need to come out and we need to figure out exactly what's going on. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Remember to always wash your hands, you know, before you eat. After you use the restroom, changing diapers, or if you work in a childcare environment, be sure to be very careful so that children don't have to experience this parasite or anybody else. 
because it can definitely uh, cause a lot of symptoms and wreak a lot of havoc and it's uh, people don't usually test for it so but always remember you know try to stay clean